Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. A bit cool out there tonight, huh? I was going to say, if you want six different Michigans, you might need a room to stay the night and you know, do three <laughs> one day, three the next day. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to say fall because that's not around the corner, but it no. feels uh, refreshing. Refreshing. Out there right now and for a couple of days. Now, we are also finishing up the wettest month on record. Wettest July, yes, but also wettest month overall. We look through all the months in Montpelier. Uh, usually the summer is wetter just because it's warmer. But when you factor in August, May, June, July, this month comes in over a foot of rain at the airport in Montpelier. By far the number one month on the wettest list. So uh, that is how we're concluding this July. August of 2011 with Irene was under this, but May of 2011 was also very wet. And an update from Ludlow, we've all seen this, how the track was washed out three weeks ago today. Here it is this past weekend, totally filled in. All of that dirt and the big rocks carried in from a couple of miles away in the big dump trucks. Pat Moore sent in that update, so the Vermont rail system will be... Uh, in good shape there before long if it hasn't started running yet. Church Street is dry right now, got a temperature of 65. Dew point though down at 48, and that is the real dry air. I mean, even light jacket weather perhaps as you step out tonight first thing tomorrow morning. The showers have all diminished. That's not a surprise. Tomorrow will be a dry day. How about a 50 right now for Tupper Lake and Lake Placid? Got a 53 for Cabot, 52 in Danville. So. Windows open, no air conditioning necessary tonight. Even drier air north and west compared to Lebanon and Brattleboro because the dew point's still 60 in Brattleboro, but dew points in the 40s for Saranac Lake and Messina and surrounding spots indicate the very, very dry air. So here's future casts showing the sunshine through the day tomorrow. Couple of fair weather clouds, not a big deal. And then Wednesday will bring more of the same. It's a hair warmer for Wednesday, but still lots of sunshine, still a dry day for Wednesday. Not till Thursday that the stickiness comes back, and with that, a small chance for a shower. But if you're looking for widespread thunderstorms, got to wait till Friday for that. That's the next big chance. So on Lake Champlain tomorrow, waves of one to two feet. The water temperature is down a little bit to 73. It may even fall quite a bit more when things get stirred up, but that would only be a temporary drop and uh, then we'll warm up after that. But the level continues to drop 98 and a half or so. And then the stickiness is back by Thursday late in the day through all the Friday, even a little bit into Saturday. And that corresponds right with the best thunderstorm chance later this week. So very cool tonight by August 1st standards tomorrow morning. And then 60s to low 70s with all of that sunshine through the afternoon tomorrow. 68 in Montpelier and down the road we've got a 75 in Brattleboro. Here comes the five day forecast. Very nice the next two days. A couple of showers in the afternoon on Thursday, but impact weather on Friday for more numerous showers and thunderstorms. And at this point, there may be a, a shower that lingers on Saturday, but it's definitely a drier, brighter trend through Saturday. Sunday right now seems like the pick of the weekend, about 80 or so. Lots of sun and most of next week will actually be near 80. Noah?